growth opportunities, emerging technologies, new business models, and new companies to action across all industries. Frost and Sullivan. We're expanding on our theme of mobility, realize your mobility, and what we're trying to do is provide our customers with mobility solutions as the industry changes. And that's based on three pillars, electrification, connectivity, and ADAS and autonomous. Okay, so um, getting deep into that, so what's the car behind us? Uh, for who, what's, what's, what's the showcase there inside the car? So behind us is one of those piers, it's the connectivity pier, and we're running seven displays in the vehicle off a single processing unit. So we're trying to enhance the connectivity experience for all of the, not just the driver, but the passenger and everybody in the rear seat. And so what this shows is different ways to bring the car experience uh, ownership back into the car and not just everybody on their cell phones, everybody sharing the same content over the screens in the vehicle. Okay, you're talking about connected autonomous and electrification. So uh, what's the news on the autonomous front? Uh, on the autonomous front, we're working on a, a variety of things. Uh, one is our HD locator, which is a precision-based uh, satellite correction, along with high-definition maps to get you to centimeter-level location services. So that can be part of your uh, your suite for uh, sensor fusion for autonomous from level three to level five, and it also can go back to connectivity because once you know very precisely where the vehicle is, you can offer some services and connected services as well. Uh, very interesting uh, thought there because uh, a lot of a lot of folks around here in CES and it's been years. Everybody's been talking about localization, precision uh, location for the vehicle and all of that. So interesting, you speak about HD location. So uh, where do you see this uh, application coming up front? So do you see that it's primarily do you see that coming around the shared mobility front first, and then towards your passenger vehicle side? Um, we, we have uh, planned production for several OEMs with our HD locator device and, and how we deliver it can be embedded with a different module or a standalone module. But uh, we're, we are going to first bring that into the passenger vehicle for our customers and then expand from there. Okay, so is th there is a lot of traction for that. A absolutely, we're, we're engaged in, we have purchase orders, RFQs, and we're engaged with advanced development of many different OEMs. Now to the electric piece, sir. So what's what's new there um, we're nothing too new we're showcasing some of the products that we've had um, one is showcased here is the mercedes-benz product that is on the e-class and letting it be known as we're finally reaching to that inflection point of where electrification makes a lot of sense mitsubishi can be a partner for the oems to solve that along with the 8s and connected solutions what are your thoughts for the future of the next couple of years um, we'll i'll take it as connected autonomous and electrification your thoughts for all three um, more of the same, obviously with the uh, 5G coming on board is going to help with the connected C V to V to X space. Um, as I mentioned, electrification is starting to make more sense with the battery costs coming down and obviously electrification itself lends itself to more autonomous features. It's easier to implement on electrical architecture than a traditional powertrain. So we're starting to start to see more and more of that and uh, it's only going to continue in the future. The last question. Um I should have asked this first, though. But uh, what are the challenges that you see as a supplier in this, as a major supplier for the connected autonomous and the electrification space? Uh, it's a very good question. It's really the speed, the velocity of how cars are changing so fast. You you can't develop you can't develop a product that's going to last five or ten years anymore. It may develop it now, and it may only be two or three years until there's an improvement because there's the race to more connectivity and a race to autonomous. So from level three to level four to level five, there's going to be many new technologies coming aboard. So the challenge is, is, is getting the industry to think and do things faster, but still maintain safety. 